Yeah, like Genevieve said, uh, my name is Monica. I'm um, I'm here both as a member of Black Rose and as a, mem I'm a member of the group, uh, the Somerville 18, who was involved in a Black Lives Matter solidarity action that took place in January. Um, and we're currently we're currently um, in a somewhat involved court proceedings, like a lot of other folks who participated in these autonomous but um, simultaneous actions that took place across the country earlier this year um, in the wake of Ferguson um, and the beginning of the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, so it's it's interesting and kind of awful the, the response that we're getting um, that we believe is very specifically about the messaging of opposing white supremacy. Um, we're facing we're facing jail time and really exorbitant fees and restitution to essentially pay the cops over time. Um, and a couple other things that activists across the country are sort of in the same struggle. Um, so that's kind of where I'm coming from uh, speaking today. Um, and you know, part of these court proceedings, us as activists are showing up and we have a lot of support and it's really necessary and appreciated. And, and the reality is that there's also so many people who are caught up in the system who very much do not have um, the privilege of having, you know, mad other activists come and show up at our court dates um, and help get our cases resolved more quickly. Sandra Bland, an outspoken radical, was stopped for a minor traffic violation and ended up being killed in police custody days later with authorities telling us that this woman, preparing for an impressive new job opportunity, had committed suicide. Just last week in St. Louis, 18-year-old Mansur Bawe was shot in the back and killed by police. I hope not to list these tragedies in vain, but in compassionate memory for the stolen lives and affected communities, and to remind us all to understand them as part of, a ta of the same tactic of repression, criminalization, and dehumanization of anyone who threatens white supremacy and capitalism. So the same mechanisms that were used to criminalize and, and execute Sakwa Ben Zeni. When we think back to our anarchist predecessors and the political landscape of the early 1900s, it can seem pretty striking how successfully radicals were demonized. Right here in the North End, we have examples from an attempt to put responsibility for the Great Molasses Flood on anarchists to the execution of Sacco and Benzetti were gathered around today. This very intentional creation of leftists as dangerous functions as a tool of counterinsurgency to make us fear the idea of resistance. The same tool is used in this way um, to criminalize entire groups of people. Black people, indigenous people, poor people, immigrant people, transgender people. We need to keep building relationships that threaten the social order we're fighting and can take us from rebellion to revolution. Thanks. Ooh, ooh.